Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use DLSS for AI upscale in conjunction with XCSS frame generation in Wuthering Waves version 2.7. I'll be using OptiScaler mod to achieve this. We'll test the game on my Linux based PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. My PC is running on Buzzite NVIDIA Edition operating system and I have installed the following NVIDIA driver version 580.95.05. Just a heads up, installing OptiScaler mod in this game comes with a big risk of getting your account banned. I won't be responsible if that happens. Install OptiScaler mod in this game at your own risk. But I'll be honest, I've been using the mod in this game for a long time. Never faced any issues with my account. The latest preview for version 0.9 build of OptiScaler mod has some issues with Linux. The mod menu does not pop up. So I'll be using an older build of OptiScaler mod version 0.9 preview 3. 20250911 the build is available on OptiScaler's discord server i'll give the link to their discord in the description of the video just click on the dot 7z link here the download will start the game comes with an older version of dlss upscaler i'll be manually updating it to the latest version at the time of recording this video it's version 310.4.0 just download the upscaler's dll file from tech power ops website i'll give its link in the description click on download here Click on any of these servers, the download will start. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod. Just open the mod's archive file, extract its contents. Click on extract here. Name, type anything. Click on extract. Wait for the extraction process to complete. Finish. Close the archive window. Open the extracted folder. Just change the name of OptiScaler.tll file to d3d12.tll. Now select the highlighted files optiscaler.ini lib xcss underscore fg.tll this is xcss frame generation file dx11 version of xcss super resolution not required lib xcss.tll xcss super resolution file lib xll.tll xcss low latency mode file fake nv api.ini fake nv api.tll fake nv api will replace the in game reflex implementation with xcss low latency Nukem 9's mod not required, won't be using mod FSR frame generation, d3d12.tll file, Vulkan version of FidelityFX not required, select all of the DX12 versions of FidelityFX files, right click copy, need to paste the files in the games installed directory, I'll be running the Steam version of the game, select the game in your Steam library, right click manage, click on browse local files, open client folder, binaries folder, win64 folder, paste everything here, Apply to all, overwrite. That's it. Now I'll be updating the in-game DLSS upscaler. Open the upscaler's archive file that you downloaded earlier. Extract this DLL file nvngx underscore DLSS. Just drag and drop it outside of this archive window like this. Select the file, right click, cut. I'll show you where to paste it. Just open the game's install directory. Now open engine folder, plugins folder, runtime folder, nvidia folder, DLSS folder, binaries folder, third party folder, win64 folder, replace the existing file, paste, overwrite, that's it. I'll be using Mango Hut to show you the performance stats, just need to add its launch argument to the game, select the game in your steam library, click on the settings cog here, properties, general, under launch options, add this line of text, I have already shown the setup process for Mango Hut, so if you are interested in watching that, I'll give the link to it in the description of the video, launch the game. In game settings, screen mode set to full screen, full HD resolution, frame rate 120, can't go higher than this, VSync is off, most of the settings set to high, capsule AO, volumetric fog, volumetric lighting enable, motion blur disable, anti lazing on, bloom off, crowd density high, auto FPS off, auto exposure on, DLSS upscaler gets on using the upscaler's quality preset, sharpening level set to nil, it's up to you. Ray tracing enabled using its low preset, all of the ray tracing effects are enabled, this will make the game very heavy on the GPU. I am in the region of Renaceta, there is rover, just open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key from this top down bar, make sure DLSS upscaler is selected, version is mentioned here 310.4.0, input. DLSS, in-game DLSS upscaler, DXJS spoofing is off, DLSS auto-expose setting is on, 
API used Direct 3D 12. This game even supports Direct 3D 11, but with that API, frame generation won't work. Frame generation only works with Direct 3D 12 API, XCSS, and FSR frame generation. First, I'll show you the base game performance. Say why and I close. Okay, I'll just use my flight ability, fly around the map. FPS stays within a range of 50 to 60 in this big open area. Few hitches. This game does suffer from traversal stutters, especially when you're flying around the map. Okay, now I'll show you some combat. Drop down. I'm looking for NPCs. There they are. Wind guide me. Leave it to me. Just spam my abilities. One with the sounds. Yeah, if this stays in a range of 50 to 60, it's ideal for using any frame generation technique. Optic Scale Mod even supports FSR frame generation, but with the latest version of the game, FSR mod FSR frame generation is not working properly, causes the game to crash. So I would recommend using XCSS frame generation only using my ultimate ability. Just open mod menu, click on the drop down bar next to FG source and select TLSS GYS Streamline as the option. This game supports TLSS frame generation and a streamline version newer than version 2. So this option will work just fine. We won't be required to deal with hurt fix. Games hurt won't exhibit any flickering. Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select XCFG. Click on save INI, close. I'll also enable OptiScaler's performance overlay, expand FPS overlay section, FPS overlay setting on, full plus graph, position, top right, exit the game. Now we need to enable the in-game TLSS frame generation and reflex settings, but even after installing OptiScaler mod, these settings won't get unlocked on an RTX 2070 Super GPU. I'll quickly highlight this. Even after restarting the game, we don't have access to the in-game. TLSS frame generation settings so I'll show you how to enable it. Quit the game. Open the game's install directory. We need to tweak the game's engine.ini file. Open client folder, saved folder, config folder, windows no editor folder. In this directory look for a file name engine.ini. There it is. Open it. Scroll down to the end. And just paste the following lines. I'll provide these lines in the description of the video. You can copy the lines from there, then paste them here. Two lines under the system settings section. First line will enable DLSS frame generation. Next line will enable reflex. Fake NV API will replace reflex with XSS low latency mode. Close the file. Lost the game. Once the game loads up, just open OptiScaler menu. Now check this setting active under frame generation XCFG. Your frame time graph will become thick like this. It means XCSS frame gen is working. You can even check the debug view. You will see these purple sidebars flickering. If these sidebars don't appear, this means XCSS frame gen is not working. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. Disable the debug view. Current streamline FG state on. It seems a conflict is going on between OptiScaler's fallback method and XCLL after enabling XCSS frame gen. XCLL may not be working properly. To counter the increase in latency, just make sure the base FPS is on the higher side, if possible, close to 60. Okay, now I'll test the smoothing effect of XCSS frame gen. Just apply a 30 FPS cap. Frame rate, set it to 30. Resume the game. Check out the animation quality. I'm spinning the camera. Yeah, it's not looking choppy. We are getting a locked 60 FPS here. And now I'll disable XCSS frame generation. back to the game yeah this is 30 fps and check out the animation quality it's looking a bit choppy now as expected this is 30 fps after all so smoothing effect of xcss frame generation is indeed working i'll just remove this 30 fps cap 120 fps and now i'll enable xcss frame gen back to the game 
one percent lows are not highlighted correctly when using XCSS frame generation. I'll just fly around. Observing some texture popping issue in the background. Animation quality is looking much better now than before when we had XCSS frame gen disabled. Engage in combat, just looking for some NPCs. Drop here. Traverse stutters are still present. Leave it to me. One with the sounds. Clear out the area, spam my abilities. Change my characters. So good to see. DLSS4 upscaler. Working in conjunction with XCSS frame generation even on Linux platform. This is Bazaar operating system. My base FPS was close to 60, so latency is not an issue. FPS with frame generation stays within a range of 90 to 100. So that's it for the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.